Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do another alternative manga spotlight. This time it is on Tokyo Is My Garden by Frederick Boilet and Benoit Peters. Uh, this is another uh, nouveau manga from the French, uh, French manga creators. Um, it says with the collaboration of Jiro Taniguchi, I don't know what that means. Um, I have no idea what his contribution to this was. Um, but this is another uh, Fanfare Opponent Mon release. They do beautiful, beautiful releases. I own quite a few of them. These are very large. Uh, they always have the French flaps and quite heavy, uh, glossy paper as well, even though this is a paperback. Um, but yeah, this one is pretty good. Um, I've, I own, I think it's uh, Frederick Boilet's uh, Yukiko Spinach as well. And I think I enjoyed this one more than Yukiko Spinach. Uh, this one is about a man, middle-aged man, French man, who is living in Tokyo at the moment. He is currently trying to sell a French brand of alcohol um, to Japanese companies, businesses, people, whatever. Um, he's basically on a work visa in Tokyo. He's been there for over a year, um, and he's... The company he works for, that is a French alcohol company, has sent him to Tokyo in order to try and get the brand started in Japan. Um, and he's not succeeding. He's sold, in the over a year he's been in Japan, he's sold one case of this alcohol uh, to a small shop um, who is, you know, serving it. But other than that, he's had no success. He also works at the um, uh, fish market on the weekends. So he's got two jobs. He loves Japanese women. Um, uh, but at the right at the beginning, you see, you know, the woman he's clearly been, you know, seeing is not interested in him anymore and kicks him out. And so he's kind of off back to his tiny apartment and he's stressed because his boss is coming from France over to Tokyo for a few weeks um, to see his progress and so he's got to find some kind of itinerary for his boss to go on because he really doesn't have any leads on where to sell this alcohol he has no prospects or contacts or anything uh, so he's desperately trying to make connections before his boss shows up so that he can take him to meetings and things like that to seem productive um, while at the same time he meets this lovely woman uh, Japanese woman who he kind of falls for immediately and they're seeing each other and you know he's thinking okay if I fail with my boss I'm gonna lose my visa and I'll have to go back to France which means I can't stay with this woman who I really like um, and so yeah it's the story about him just trying to really jumpstart his job so that he can stay in Tokyo where he loves to be um, and yeah, it's kind of a love letter to Tokyo, I think, because clearly, you know, the character and I would assume also the creators really love Japan being not from there and, you know, writing this story that is very much a love letter to the country, but more specifically Tokyo itself. Uh, you can tell that, that, you know, they really do love the culture, they love the food, they love the people and the just everything about it. And you see that through the eyes of this character, this, this man who really desperately wants to stay there. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's not very long. Um, and if you saw, if you've ever, you know, looked at uh, Yukiko's spinach, you would know kind of the art is, um, even this is slightly different than Yukiko's spinach. But it is very interesting, um, very different from what we normally see in manga, um, but really nice. I like a lot of the buildings and stuff, and I just think that it's a really beautifully done um, volume. I just found this to be much more captivating than Yukiko Spinach was, but um, yeah, it's a really nice publication, a really interesting story and short and sweet um yeah and it's nice to see 
somebody who clearly very much appreciates Tokyo itself and and um yeah it is sexually explicit there is a bit of sex in it but it's not like fan servicey it very much is just like clearly they're in a relationship they're adults they're going to sleep together and it's not just going to skip and fade to black kind of thing um so it is what it is it's not I wouldn't say it's lewd or anything, um, but it definitely, it has sex scenes in it. So if that's going to bother you, then, then don't pick it up. But yeah, a really, really interesting read. Um, very different, like I said, but if you're very interested in the, um, in the sort of French Nouveau, uh, manga time period or, or creators, um, then this is one to, to check out. Um, yeah, it was interesting. And I liked it better than Yukigo Spinach. So I'm interested in, in hopefully getting some more of these uh, French-created manga um, because they're fascinating to me. And I don't think we have very many of them in English, but Ponentman has been doing or has done a pretty good job in the past of bringing some very different titles over to a North American market. So yeah, I enjoy everything I've picked up from Ponent Mon. So if you don't own anything by this publisher, highly, highly, highly recommend uh, looking into some of their catalog and, and picking up some of their works. Um, yeah, this was a good one. I've had this for a while now and didn't read it. And then the other day just randomly went, oh my gosh, I have this and I haven't picked it up yet. Um, so yeah, Tokyo is my garden. I do recommend it. Um, not necessarily a beginner recommendation, I don't think. I wouldn't recommend this to somebody who, you know, is trying to get into manga and I wanted to recommend some alternative titles. This isn't one I would recommend because it is so different from anything else. Um, but it is a fun one if you are into alternative manga and some very different styles of of manga um yeah if you've read anything uh have you read anything else by that ponent mon has published that you haven't seen me already talk about i'd be really interested to hear uh what else you recommend because i've got quite a few of their titles but i don't think i'm actually nearly sure that i do not have all of them um i just kind of pick them up as i notice that they exist but if you know of any others that you highly recommend, I would love to hear about it. Anyway, thanks for watching.